piece of dust right off them. Tonight. It is America Trends, U2 America Network, and Biz Talk TV. And we're with Barry Newsbaum of the American Truth Project. Barry, just what does this Truth Project do? Uh, thanks for asking, Amy. American Truth Project is literally about America's security, and we come at it from four key issues. Uh, Islamic fundamentalism and its terror around the world, uh, homegrown terror, uh, and I include border security within that uh, conversation, uh, the relationship with our most strategic ally in the Middle East, which is Israel, which is the canary in the coal mine for our security, and Middle East policy as a whole. All those four issues lead into what should be on everybody's mind, which is how can we protect ourselves as Americans at home? Anybody that goes to americantruthproject.org will see all of our stuff for free. We never charge. You get an email every couple days. You get one of our videos. You get articles and recommendations on where to look stuff up. And the easiest way to find us, findbarry.com. That'll take you right to it. Because that's me. Yeah, that's you. B-A-R-R-Y. Findberry.com. You got it. We're going to look it up. So we talked about the wall, why it's so important. Trump ran on it, so he should continue pushing for it, right? And it, it's just the right thing to do. You know, I feel very strongly you're right about that, Amy. It was one of his most key issues. Putting America first has to do with securing the homeland. Uh, every country in the world looks at its internal protection of its citizens as the primary responsibility of its federal or national government. Whatever the country is, that's its job. And people recognize the fact that massive amounts of illegal drugs and weapons and criminals and uh, human smuggling, it's just horrific what comes across the border. If he backs down on this because the Democrats refuse to fund the government if he pushes for wall funding, I think Donald Trump is going to have a real problem with his base, and I think by 2020, a lot of people are just going to go away because they will they will feel abandoned. I hope, for America's sake, the president sticks to his guns and figures out a way to pay for it. I don't care, honestly, if he declares a national emergency. Every single president in the last 20 years has done it for one reason or another, and he's not talking about a great deal of money. Between you and me, I know it sounds crazy, $5 billion to the federal government is walking around money. We, we gave 50 times that to foreign countries, and nobody blinked. You're exactly right, and there's no doubt about it, it, whatever angle you look at it from this side, from that side, it's a humanitarian crisis. What a mess we had two to three months ago when that caravan came. Trump told them from the start, don't come. And you have people like Barack Obama saying, what, this care, it's so far, it's never, it, like would never get here and it would never be a problem. Oh, if that were so. And then Tijuana had to deal with it all, 10,000 people. And it's sort of dissipated, 8,000, and they were like about 2,000 left at la last count that we're gonna integrate into the community in Tijuana, or, parentheses, jump the border. And so that's a whole issue. And now, now, Barry, we have a new caravan of about 500 so far that just left Honduras Monday night. So here we go again. I wish more people would understand who's behind it. People don't pick themselves up with no money and no transportation and no food, no medicine, no water, no lodging and travel thousands of miles to ostensibly break into a foreign country unless somebody with deep pockets is sponsoring them. Uh, a guy named Ami Horowitz, who is a friend, uh, went down to Central America, I think about a month ago, and shot a uh, three or four day special. I urge your viewers to watch it. He literally integrated into that caravan. Say his name again. Ami Horowitz, A-M-I Horowitz. You can find him on YouTube. Very, very sharp filmmaker. And he figured out where the money's coming from. And the fact is, this is a political agenda financed by very, very wealthy secret sources with the express intent of changing American policy uh, by using these people, for want of a better word, as dupes. Look, I've been all over that border, at least in San Diego as a a uh, fellow Californian, as you know, and where the wall got built before Donald Trump, illegal immigration went to zero. Isn't that funny? 
and Nobody commerce thrived. It. it was good all around. Barack Obama was the president, and no one said it was a racist wall <laughs> at the time. And so what happened was, in the areas where the wall is up, Amy, there are no illegal immigrants coming through. There's no infiltration, period. Why in the world would you leave the door open and say to everybody, bring your weapons, bring your drugs, bring your smuggled slave women, uh, all the horrible things, you know, MS-13, come on in. But don't come to my house. I have a wall around my house. <laughs> Just come into the country and we'd like to register you to vote for the Democratic Party. A wall works. Imagine that. And the humanitarian crisis, the sex trafficking, the coyotes that make money, the people who are, they're hoodwinked too because they're told you'll be able to get into America. And when that former caravan from two months ago got here, they, they said these people lied to us. They told us it would be easy. Uh, so to be continued as always, this thing is... It's, no, will it ever be over? Uh, but we've wanna, got about a minute. I want to ask you about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who has been absent now. Uh, she was out all last week, and she has announced her staff that she will be out all this week, recovering from some health concerns. And she's 85, 86. And the question is, will she come back? And, and when are they going to really let us know what's going on with her health? It's unknown because we're not her doctors. Um, she's had cancer. Uh, a number of times she's had broken bones she's they say he's in she's in tremendous health for an 86 year old but the truth is she's now missing her job and at some point if that cancer is still active uh, I think her career's over and it's going to be a zoo in Washington it will be Trump's third appointment to the court his first one Neil Gorsuch replaced a conservative nobody cared too much his second one uh, Kavanaugh replaced a swing voter, mm -hmm. and it was a zoo. This will be replacing a very liberal, progressive, left-wing jurist with a conservative, and I predict all hell will break loose uh, in the Senate Judiciary Committee. The Republicans control the vote, but the Democrats are going to fight to the death to block it. You'll see. Barry, I think you're exactly right. How could it tap Kavanaugh? I guess we just may see. Barry Newsbaum, The American Truth Project. Will you come back and see us soon? Absolutely.